Hi, my name is Billy Sinkford, co-founder of MADE. Welcome to the show. My name is Joseph Ahern. My bike company is Ahern Cycles. This is a kind of all-purpose commuter and touring bike, off-road. It'll hold all the racks, all the gear that you want. Um, yeah, I, I build all my own racks. Uh, so custom racks, frame fork, the fork's a split plate crown. This is a pretty typical version of a bike that I, I build. I build a lot of this style of bike. I love the drivetrain too, but I was very low gearing. Yes, I uh, have a special appreciation for this little tiny gear. Doing a gravel tour with a fully loaded bike going up big steep hills into a headwind, I very much like that having the bailout gear. This is a lightweight gravel bike. It just, uh, I, I wanted to go, I built it for myself, for my size. It is for sale. Um, I've got all the SRAM electronic shifting with the, the, the SRAM X axis red, uh, integrated lights, generator hub, uh, just a straight up light go fast bike for gravel. These are two prototype bikes for mini velo, uh, breakaway travel bikes. So they got a split in the seat post here, they've got a coupler. They should pack down into a regular suitcase, basically. And, um, and uh, I've used some parts from other bikes. This is sort of a Brompton standard, the quick release bag and that block there. Um, really nice setup. Um, yeah, these are prototypes. I built a travel bike for myself and took it down to Mexico maybe four or five years ago. And it had a little bit larger wheels and it was a little bit more complicated and I learned a lot from it and I wanted to make more. So these are the next generation and I'm working out more of the bugs. I'm pretty much ready to start taking pre-orders on these. Um, it's going to be stock sizing. I've got a large, these two are larges, and I'm going to have a small medium. So, yeah. Which website? Uh, AhernCycles.com. My name is Will Hilgenberg, and I'm here with Albatross Bikes, and this is our RD00, kind of modern classic road bike. So you'll, you'll see this road bike, it's actually built with exter fully external routing. Um, rim brakes as well and this is kind of our our homage to the road bike uh, that has been or rather was the standard for many years so uh, it's my personal bike I really wanted to have something that was lightweight easy to work on um, and still had all the performance that I'm looking for so that's why we have our drop seat stays that don't connect to the seat tube kind of gives it that extra degree of flex but what we've also done is mounted the brake directly to the seat tube, letting us reduce the, the diameter of the seat stays, drop a little bit more weight, and allow us to have a very firm braking feel on the, on the bike. Um, additionally, we do have our own custom machined uh, seat mask topper, so all done in-house, um, that allows us to have a really nice fit to the seat tube and lock in our position, but still have that degree of adjustability for whenever you change shoes, whenever you change seasons, and you have a different pair of bibs, we want to have that flexibility. Uh, also notable on this frame is the bottle cages. So we've actually designed our, our own unique 3D printed bottle cages. Uh, so these are all laser centered by a company called Form Labs. And so we wanted something that matched the profile of the tubes a little bit more, kind of helps blend it into that shape, uh, but also wanted to have our have a degree of, a, of adjustability in how tightly it holds the bottle. So you'll notice there's an O-ring on that. That is removable and uh, swappable, and that allows us to adjust the tension that's on the bottle. So if you were to use these, these cages on, a say, a gravel bike or even something like a uh, Perry-Roubaix style bike, you're able to increase the tension on that cage in a very lightweight fashion and have it locked in place and so you're not ejecting bottles as you go along. So. Uh, We've also equipped uh, Challenge tires and Rolf Prima wheels. Uh, we, we've worked with them very closely over the years and we're big fans of their product for uh, some really dialed rigid wheel sets with some very fast rolling tires. And of course, we have Enduro bearings on board with us. So we have their max hit headset on this bike with the integrated bearing into the headset race. And it's really just a, a lifetime component. I'm probably going to die with these components in my garage on a bike. So. Um, 
What we really want to do is just have that nice, clean bike overall, have a very simple, pared, pared down aesthetic, and have something that I can ride for the next couple years. Which side? Uh, if you go to www.albatrossbikes.com, we have all the information behind the building of this bike, all the reasons, and then all of the other models that we have on offer. I'm uh, Zach from Amigo Frameworks in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, this is my new road bike model, Earth Sucks. Uh, it's been designed by uh, teenage delinquent aliens. Uh, they imparted this space age technology to me because um, they feel like uh, there should be a spaceship for the people. Uh, Elon Musk and Bezos and Branson all get rocket ships out of here. Uh, why not you? So this is your rocket ship to blast off. Um, it utilizes uh, 3D printed dropouts. It's a classic steel road bike uh, with, you know, I think neoclassic geometry. Um, it comes DI2, wireless only, disc brakes, uh, trying to really just keep it, you know, the pinnacle of tech. So. And this one has FSA Wii. This one has FSA Wii on it. They hooked me up with these parts and they're pretty cool. Uh, the Vision cockpit's awesome. The headset's really rad. Um, for production models, I'm going to offer both a integrated and external routing option. If you decide to go integrated, there will be like a 3D printed plug that will go on both of these. But since this is a prototype and for the show, I just did fully integrated. Um, and actually it went together pretty easy. I don't know what people are always complaining about. I do custom stuff. Um, I experimented with being like a one-man production house um, doing the bug out, which is my adventure gravel bike. Um, and I kind of realized that I wanted more people on Amigos, so my production models are going to be made for me. I'm going to employ a factory overseas. Um, that way I can get more people on Amigos. Um, you know, I didn't really get into this to like sell a bunch of bikes to super rich guys. Uh, I'm just a bike punk, so I want my other bike punk friends to have these bikes. Um, I'll still do full custom stuff, and for a premium, you can get custom sizing if it necessitates for you. Um, but all my production stuff is going to be done overseas. What's your website? Amigoframeworks.com. Hey, I'm Ben Farber. I'm founder of Argonaut Bikes here uh, to talk about our new line of stock bikes, actually, uh, called the Supernaut. So we have the Supernaut RM3, which is our road bike, and our Supernaut GR3, uh, which is our gravel bike. So new for this show, debuting here. Uh, these bikes are the first non-custom bikes that we've made. So we used uh, everything that we know about and learned over the last 15 years of custom layout patterns to basically create our ideal layout pattern. So these are basically um, our kind of chef's choice, if you will, in terms of what the bike that we would ride uh, if we could spec it out with any parts and any ride quality that we want. This is sort of, uh, think about it as like your builder's choice. So they're outfitted with, uh, the RM3 is outfitted with our wheel, which is our Argonaut 43 wheel, uh, which is our rim design built around a DT180 hub. Uh, they weigh a scant 1,266 grams and are engineered to complement the ride quality of the RM3. Uh, and also shown here is our new seat post. So it's a, a really easily adjustable two bolt seat post design, carbon, uh, full carbon, super light. They're like 270 grams, I think, uh, to complement both of our whole bikes in terms of stiffness as well. And then the, the GR3, our, our ideal build as well on this one with E13 cranks and E13 wheels. This is a super light, uh, but also really durable knock around build kit. Uh, also complemented with the NV cockpit for full cable integration uh, for, a, for a fully resolved, super clean final aesthetic. So to learn more, go to argonautcycles.com. Uh, or go to Gravel Cyclists and check out their shop tour that they did. Uh, this is Brandon Poser. I'm with Ball Cycle Works. We're based out of uh, Bakersfield, California. And uh, this is my bike at the Maid Show today. Uh, this is uh, made mostly with Columbus, some custom tubing. Uh, the top tube is ovalized all the way through. Polished stainless seat stays. A little bit of polished bits underneath. Uh, full FSA build kit, which includes the vision wheels, uh, vision cockpit, as well as the FSA Wii 12-speed group set.
also build gravel bikes, I understand. I do build, build gravel bikes. All of our bikes are made to measure, so custom fit for you. Don't have anything that's stock, uh, unless you have a specific geometry that, that you want me to build, we can certainly do that as well. Which website? Uh, BallCycle.com. Hi, I'm Dylan at Bathmet Bicycles. We uh, custom steel fabrication shop in Bellingham, Washington. We donate 50% of our profits to organizations that I think are making the world a better place. Things like Planned Parenthood, the Range of Motion Project, Silver Stallion, uh, just to name a few. And over here we've got my my lovely wife's gravel bike. <laughs> so uh, this guy's really just super simple. Uh, single speed, uh, the only gear you ever need. It's got about a 73 head tube, 76 degree C2 angle, so a bit more mountain biking on that regard. But uh, all custom all the time. Of course, people desire a drop bar bike. You can make it. I'm sure. Absolutely. Anything yeah. goes. Absolutely. One of the most um, loved bikes of mine on the internet is a shreddy rando bike. Um, so drop bars, fat tires. Which website? Um, BathmetBicycles.com. We are here at the Bethlehem booth. Some of the most beautiful bicycles on the planet. We'll talk to Alessandro in a moment and get the scoop on these gorgeous bikes but do not forget to visit the youtube channel because i have a very detailed factory tour of how these beautiful bikes are made in morostica italy over to alex we are here in the in the maid as i promised uh, during the video we're shooting in uh, during the factory tour we have the portofino r you have just seen uh, probably in the in the factory video. And uh, this is assembled with uh, Dura Ace DI2 with uh, Bora Ultra WTO. And uh, we have also the Portofino G in, uh, in another color combination. Obviously we have different color combination. We can do it on the Portofino G. And this is uh, for us uh, is very special because it's pink, remember the Giro, and, uh, and it's sort of a blue and purple, fade with a blue and purple. But any, anyway, we have also our new uh, selection of color here, you can see. And uh, there is different combination we can do, and uh, we customize the frame for for the for our, all our customers and uh, we give uh, the special uh, and uh, very personal uh, products website is uh, officinabattaglin.com and our youtube channel is uh, officina battaglin you can uh, just clicking on uh, youtube channel and you can follow our videos uh, and all our information. Hi, my name is Thibaut. I work uh, for Beach Club with Sean and uh, Danny from the Cowboys in Los Angeles. Uh, today we're at the Ingrid booth where we introduce our new uh, concept bikes. It's a Beach Club Ardente. Uh, so this one is our aluminum uh, frame made in Italy and there is a aluminum polish uh, finish on, on top of that. We did like an anodizing and you can see the laser hatch on the, on the frame. So it's pretty unique. Um, we have two other models like coming with like stock colors. It's a fun bike to ride. You, it's like steel, steep and, and light. So What's the website? It's called beachclub.com. So we're still working on the website, but you can email us at sup, S-U-P, at beachclubs, triple Z.com.
Hey, Brad Bingham here with Bingham Built Bikes uh, out of Steamboat Springs, Colorado, showing off a couple of gravel rigs. This one will be headed to New Mexico after the show and given this client clearance for a 45 millimeter tire. Uh, definitely going to be used on some rougher terrain. So he has a one by setup and it's all titanium construction including the seat post and stem and NV fork on there 50 mil clearance for that very clean build so we got a all road gravel bike um, you know this client wanted the bike to be a little more road leaning uh, with the ability to swap out some wheels and even go to some smaller slicks so the geometry kind of reflects that and his cockpit reflects that as well a little bit lower bar position um, but also a very capable gravel bike clearance for 45 millimeter tires as well um, but on this bike, instead of the mullet build, he opted for the SRAM Explorer one by kit to get that little bit tighter gear spacing. Um, and we've got the comfy titanium seat post on there, as well as the tie stem. So, beautiful ride. BinghamBuiltBikes.com. Hey, howdy. I'm Tyler from Bitchin' Bikes. Um, I'm based out of Northern California in Chico. I've um, been building for about five years now. Um, I build primarily off-road bikes, dirt bikes. Um, anywhere from, you know, fast gravel bikes up to uh, full suspension mountain bikes. Uh, so the, the jerk here is a full race enduro bike that I built. Um, I've pri primarily been building in Cromali and uh, uh, Philip Braids. Cromali um, and I've been dabbling in titanium lately and this is my first titanium frame uh, so this one is a uh, pretty racy pretty svelte uh, gravel bike big tires um, integrated seat mast uh, has 3d printed dropouts that accept the new t-type drivetrain um, with uh, a bunch of uh, eclectic flair in it like Paul crank arms with a 3D printed adapter. Um, so I'm not gonna run a T-type uh, chain ring on it. Um, set up with a dynamo, um, little custom light mount up there, little titanium sheet metal uh, light mount that weighs four grams. Um, and also the handlebars on it are titanium drop bars that I've made in house. Um, making them in a variety of widths. They can be custom custom made uh, in widths and uh, the, the degree of flare can be customized too. Um, these I've put a lot of work into and I'm really proud of. Um, these 3D printed corners uh, allow a lot more usable space when you're getting off behind the hoods. Um, just, just gave you a lot more real estate on your palm. Um, and of course the, the big ovalized flats are a little more arrow. Uh, but also just so much more comfortable. Um, these also I'm um, providing with these little 3D printed ergo inserts. So as you're wrapping the bar, you can set this whatever is comfortable for you, put it under the bar tape, um, and I'll have a few different sizes of the, uh, and shapes of those um, that'll be included with it. But. Yeah, all the anodizing I'm doing is all in-house. Um, that's been really fun, and uh, with my uh, mountain bars and seat posts, I've uh, been getting pretty fun with the with the colors on them. Um, I'm making 27.2 and 30.9 seat posts in both zero offset um, and uh, about 23 mil-ish offset. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's that's a lot of what I got going on. I've got some uh, sneak preview of a full coverage aero fender. Uh, as of right now, we've got this thing down to about 75 grams for a rear fender. Uh, that's about the third of weight of a Honjo. Um, and it is uh, incredibly stiff to say the least. Um, 
It, it must be at least 10 times stiffer than uh, any other fender that I've uh, held in my hands, um, which is what allows it to not use a rear fender stay. Um, just the bridges in the rear is more than enough um, to keep it, uh, keep it stout. Uh, so this is something that's really fun that, that we've been working hard on and, and we should have these ready to release in, in probably about two months. So. So my website is bitchinbikes.com, and that's B-T-C-H-N bikes.com. Um, you go on my Instagram too, it's at bitchin.bikes. Here with a very hot brand from Italy, Dixis. Now I'm going to get some information from the folks who are behind the camera. Ask them some questions about this very fine looking gravel bike. These are our steam gravel bikes. It's assembled with ingrates uh, chain rings and uh, other components. The rear part is uh, shaped by Neandoriano. Uh, the headset uh, and uh, is Chris King. Okay. What is the uh, is steel? Steel. Yes. Okay. It's all Columbus. Columbus. Tubes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, and this is all made in the factory, Italy. Yes. Okay. Yes. All the tubes are studied by Columbus uh, by the specifics of uh, Dorianos. Okay. And there are. Uh, specific uh, thickness okay. in the different area. Where is uh, your your company based? Which area? The, uh, the city? The we city. are in Sereno, in the north of Milan. Okay. And what is your website? Uh, www.bixis.com oh. Bixis is a bicycle Italian for the 21st centuries. Okay. This is the Bagar. It's a disc brake road bike by Bixis, obviously. And well, it has the very wild, the very new to market Campagnolo Super Record Wireless. If you have to ask the price of this group set, you probably don't want to know. But that point aside, it's a very beautiful bike. Titanium and custom, etc. Yeah. My name's Todd and I am uh, Black Cat Bicycles and um, I guess we're talking about this bike here which was uh, built for a customer in uh, Denver, Colorado and he wanted a uh, fixed gear disc brake gravel bike um, mostly for uh, commuting because he's lucky enough to have a gravel bike commute. So. Um, there were a couple things he wanted, one of which was the fixed gear, but then also the option to run gears in the future, but um, also have the standard flat mount disc brakes. So coming up with that combination was a bit challenging, but we nailed it. Um, we're using the uh, Wunner eccentric bottom bracket, so then we could uh, pick up the chain tension that way. And uh, then we've got uh, the Paul components, uh, drivetrain and brakes with uh, White Industries cranks. Um, and he, uh, he demands that the bike be made with Columbus tubes. So uh, I was able to do that, fortunately. So full Columbus tubing, size to fit him, and uh, 50C tires. 
all of that. Website. The website, blackcatbicycles.com. Do you like bespoke bikes? Do you like bespoke paint? Well, Black Magic, they're the name behind a lot of the ornate paint jobs we see in some of these beautiful bikes. Look at this bloody bike here, will you? Stunning. Walking around the booth here, we have a pair of mosaics. And I'll probably put a link in the description below. There's gonna be a photo gallery of uh, these bikes and their beautiful paint jobs kindly supplied to me by the folks at Black Magic. Let's get another view of this road bike here. This is like a zoomed in newspaper kind of print. It's amazing. Obviously this mosaic in front of us is not painted, but that's okay. Now we've got a couple of Envy Mogs here. Which reminds me, be sure to check out the link in the description below because I did a little visit to Envy's launch of that particular bike. The lighting's a bit tough here, so this video may not do these bikes justice. And here is one of my favorite colorways ever. This is a gorgeous Greg LeMond Team Z bike. This is a race bike. Absolutely stunning. I love retro road bikes. Paul Cavanello, of course. Delta brakes, downtube shifters. That's what I'm talking about. And the website, I'll plug it on screen, but there's the business card right there. Hi, I'm Tony Pereira from Breadwinner Cycles. We are celebrating our 10th anniversary this year. We started in uh, 2013 um, at a bike show in Denver, and we've got even more bikes than we did then. So uh, we do uh, largely gravel bikes. We've got a series of three uh, gravel bikes that uh, you're seeing here, the, uh, the B Road, the G Road, and the A Road. Uh, B Road's our original gravel bike, the carbon fork. The G Road has a segmented steel fork and a straight steerer. And then the A Road comes with either. So we, we, we call this the A Road steel with the steel fork. And then against the wall there, we've got an A Road with the carbon fork. And those are, those are, those are our, um, our, our main, that's what we sell the most of these days. The A Road's kind of a fat tired um, road bike. I'm running 34s on this right now. Uh, 32, 34 is a good sweet spot for that kind of a bike. Um, you can put fenders on it. Uh, we are now offering for the first time stock sizing on the A Road and soon the B Road. Um, so this is one of our stock size A Roads right here. Uh, and a really nice package that starts around $6,400, uh, which we can deliver in, in about six to eight weeks. Website. BreadwinnerCycles.com.